Okay, let's see this limit question. So x approaches to infinity and the function is a cosine of this rational expression. So how do we do this? Cosine is a continuous function. So cosine continues at all real numbers. So which means we can push this limit inside. Inside, because cosine is continuous for all real numbers, right? So we push this limit inside, we take the limit of this x raised by five, divided by x raised by six, plus x raised by five, plus 100. So now we can, so some, I like to call ignore root. Ignore, right? When the limit goes to infinity, so ignore rule is seen, just take the leading term in the numerator and take the leading term in the denominator and forget about, ignore the lower terms. Because in the infinity, right, when x approaches infinity, the leading term dominates. The leading term dominates the growth. So if we do that, so what is the principle, mass principle behind it? Mass principle is behind it. It's just divide every term here by x raised by five. Maybe I'll do this one first. Now I'll explain that. So we take ignore rules. So what do we get? We get a cosine of a limit. X approaches infinity. Now I ignore the, the lower terms. So the numerator I have x raised by five. The denominator I have x raised by six. Well, this one can be sim simplified to be one over x. Mm. Well, then when limit approaches infinity, what's one over x? How, how do we think about that? Think about x as the whole population in the whole wide world, right? That's only one apple. The numerator has only one apple. So for one apple shared by the whole wide world people. How much apple each one gets? Zero, right? So you can think one over infinity is zero. So we just get a cosine zero. What was cosine zero? That's one. That's one. All right, so how do we think about this? What is the ignore rule of what's the mathematics the principle behind it? We divide everything by x raised by five then the numerator becomes one, right? We divide x raised by six over five, x raised by five, well, that's x. x raised by five divided by x raised by five, this is one. So 100 divided by x raised by five, that's approaches to zero, right? 100 apples shared by the whole wide world people raised by five. So that goes to zero. Okay. That's the mathematical idea behind it. I um, hope this makes sense for you.